Hello, it's Jazz Rose and today I have another haul for you guys. You may not have heard of this clothing boutique. I found them from Instagram and I've been following them for a while. It's called Camelli Boutique and they have like really pretty, girly, trendy clothes. I'm gonna link them down below if you want to check them out because their clothes are so adorable. They have so many dresses. I wasn't able to get a dress for this haul because I, I was going to spend $600 on the website. Don't judge me. I had never shopped there before, but I was just gonna straight up spend 600 bucks. But I thought, no, I need to be smart. So I spent $280 altogether. The dresses were like 70, 80 bucks. Some were even like 100, I think. So I'll save dresses for next time if I decide to buy from there again. So on the website, the owner of the boutique models all of the clothes. So she's like, I, I'm gonna guess she's like a size 8. Like she's really really small. I'm a size 12 and I, you know, I didn't see anyone even in like the customer photos. I didn't see anyone who was like an average body size or even someone who had like a bigger chest. So I wanted to put Camelli Boutique to the test to see if they are big boob friendly and if they are average body friendly. I have no idea what I'm titling this video, so I'll mention both of my usual topics. Here is the first top. It is so gorgeous. Looking at it here, I don't know if this is gonna fit my boobs, um, but look at the sleeves. Like, the sleeves are so beautiful. This is such a nice top. I'm gonna try this with a bra and without a bra because obviously this is meant to be worn without a bra, so... I'll show you what both look like on a larger chest. My chest is not perky, by the way, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> the quality is amazing, by the way. You definitely get what you pay for. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm obsessed with this so much. The, you can see my bra coming out, so obviously I need to take my bra off to show you, but my boobs look like they actually fit. I wish my boobs, like, looked like this without a bra, because this looks so cute. I love the sleeves. These straps are a little bit too short for me to wrap them how they're supposed to be wrapped, um, because I don't know how well you can see. The tie-up part is meant to go this way, but if I do it this way, you can see, you know? Does that make sense? I love this so much. This is so pretty, but... I'm gonna try it on without a bra now. Um, okay. I would never wear it out like this because I, I'm i not confident, trust me. Um, but this is actually all right. These straps are very elasticated. They do give you support. I know that you can wear it off the shoulder as well, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, I've been talking about this top for way too long. I'm gonna move on. This skirt was actually what the model was wearing with this top. So I thought, I love this color. This is like a really nice kind of green. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to see what they looked like on me <laughs> together. Um, the quality is, it's like really soft. It's stretchy. The shape of the skirt is weird. Like it goes down further on this side, but that's just because it's got the ruched detail on the side. So this side that was cut longer is meant to be the shorter side or make it even or whatever. Okay. It looks all right, but I'm not, I don't think I'm a fan of it. These two go together surprisingly well. I'm just not sure if I'm a fan of the skirt. Like it's cute. But I don't know if I like it on me. It does show my belly. Like, it's not the type of material that would suck your belly in. So, my belly's definitely showing. I think it's cute. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, next is a top that feels like it would be extremely itchy. So, this looks like it would definitely fit my boobs. So... I'm, I'm keen for that. As you can see, the sleeves are mesh and it's got these little dots on them. I don't know how well you can see. You can probably see it better when I'm wearing it. The sleeves are kind of ugly, not gonna lie. It's like piratey. The quality isn't as good as this top, but it's still okay. I just feel like I'm gonna be really itchy wearing it. Even though the material on the inside is very different to the material on the outside. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a fan. Something is wrong with, like, 
this part. If I pull this down far enough, it's fine, but it just goes straight back up again. Like, it'll end up being up here and it doesn't look good. These parts here up the top are just not, you know, going down. They're just kind of like flappy bits. It's not fitting me properly at all. The sleeves, surprisingly, aren't itchy. They're kind of cute. Honestly, I don't think this was made properly at all. I just... I don't know, something just doesn't feel right. It definitely does not suit me. <laughs> this skirt I've been so excited for. I have had a saved photo on Instagram for months and it was of this skirt and I was like, I need to have this skirt. And I finally got this skirt. So if it doesn't look good on me, I'm gonna be devastated. <laughs> this fits me perfectly. This is so cute. I love the color. I love the style of it. This would look really cute with like a white crop top or something. This is like so nice. It's a good length as well, like the wind will definitely blow it up, but it's a good length to cover your bum on a non-windy day. <laughs> I didn't realize this is actually the last item. It's just a uh, simple long sleeve crop top with a yin yang sun um, embroidered in the middle. This is super thick ribbed quality. I don't know how short it would be on me, but it looks like it'd be an all right length. Oh, this is like, this is tight, like a good tight. I could even go braless wearing this and I'd have like Jennifer Aniston nipples. <laughs> I wouldn't pair it with this skirt because the colors kind of clash. Kind of, I don't know. Um, but the model was wearing it with a yellow skirt. I don't think I would pull off a yellow skirt. But I actually really like this top. This is really nice. It's so thick. It's really soft. Anyway, guys, that is all the clothes from Kamali Boutique that I had to show you today. To recap, I am honestly glad that I didn't spend $600 like I was going to. There's so many nice things, but being 100% honest, I think they're more suitable for skinnier people who have smaller boobs and stuff. I think I'm happy with half of the things, but I know that I will not be comfortable wearing pretty much everything out in public. That's just me though, that's just my self-confidence. Um, but like that green top, I love that so much and my boobs actually like kind of fit in there. But it's not something that I would be confident enough to wear in public because there's a lot of stomach showing. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm going to leave the link down below. They have so many cute things. I'm pretty sure they ship worldwide. Definitely stick to your true size. So I think I got everything in a size 12. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below what your favorite item from this haul was. And if you would like to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. That will really mean a lot to me. And until next time, goodbye.